Hi guys. So, um, for the video diary, I was going to, um, I was going to put up the video for the video diary of me showing how I film my readings, but I think I'm going to just keep that as a separate tarot video, tarot video, <laughs> YouTube video, um, <clears throat> and not put it in the video diary playlist because it's more of like, a, <laughs> it's more of me like explaining something. So I just feel like, I feel like it just goes better with the the series of like talking tarot and not the series of video diary. So this is going to be a video diary series. Um, so it's 1030 or 10, 1045 right now. And I was like, oh shit, I got to leave for work like soon, but I don't have to leave for work for another two hours. So I did that last week, you guys, or no, last week I was one to seven all day, the week before. <laughs> so every other week, my hours are different. Um, and so the week before <laughs> my Wednesday shift, I worked two to seven, not one to seven. Usually it's one to seven, but it's two to seven that day. And I left the house fucking at the same time, the time I would have left to be at work by one. And I was like halfway through the drive and I'm like, holy shit, I don't have to be here till two. And I left early for no reason. Like I could have stayed at home for an extra hour before I got on the freeway. I was so pissed. So I ended up just going to my mom's house and I hung out with them for like an extra hour. And I was just like, oh my God, I could have been home. Like I was so mad. So today I reminded myself, I'm like, I don't have to be at work till two. So I don't have to leave the house till 1230 the latest. So <laughs> it was like 1030 right now. And I was like, oh my God, like I got to leave for work soon. And I'm like, oh wait, I don't have to leave for another two hours, not one hour. So I can be here and film. So for today's video diary, um, <laughs> I wanted to talk about tarot and sex. Um, I don't know. I'm just like, let's talk tarot and sex. So let's just talk sex in general. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Actually, we can talk sex if you guys want to. But anyway, um, <laughs> I bought this book. I So I ordered this book off of... Um, thrift books i i'm obsessed with thrift books like i love ordering used books off of amazon but if i could find it on thrift books for cheaper i will do it um and i just saw 222 two, two on my phone so ha! 222 is like two couples like love i'm in a weird mood today i think it's all the coffee I think it's all the coffee I drank and which is another reason why I am not filming in the kitchen because I just I feel like I film in the kitchen too much now and it's like every video I put up as my video diary I'm always eating and I'm just like I can't I just can't do that although I am thirsty I wish I had water you know what let's go get water so let's let, let's just do that let's go get water I'm gonna be all huffy puffy but hey um <laughs> I just feel like I'm always eating in my videos. Put you guys right here while I get my water. I gotta put more in the fridge. Um, hi stars. <laughs> so now that we got the water and I've been having mocos this morning, like I think it's allergies. <coughs> like I said, now I'm all out of breath. Um, like I said, Starla's fur, she, I think she's just like, her fur is just different from, well, obviously it's different from Luna's. But you would think I would be like more allergic to Luna's fur because Luna has, oh my God. Hopefully it stays. Luna has um, long fur and Starla, <sighs> oh, excuse me. I feel like I'm getting sick, but I hope not. So I'm trying not to like think that way. I'm going to pause the video though, because I need to blow my nose. So hang on. Don't you guys hate that <laughs> when you put foundation on and then you have to blow your nose and then it like comes off. Oh my gosh. Like I hate that. So I don't want to say that I'm sick, but I feel like I am getting sick. Um, I feel kind of congested in the back of my throat and I think you guys can kind of hear it, but <laughs> I just like, I'm like, I do not want to be sick. I just don't. But there's so many people with germs at work. Like not, not people I work with, but like the patrons that come in. Oh, it's so gross. So <laughs> I usually have my antibacterial with me when I'm on desk so I can like clean my hands after I have to like touch their library cards and or help them on the computers. <sighs> but it's just like you work in a public library, library you're going to get sick eventually. So 
I don't know or it could just be allergies because like I was saying um Luna's fur doesn't make me sick like it doesn't make me sneeze but Starla's does and hers is short fur so I always thought it would be the opposite but I think it's just Starla's dander is just different mm. oh my god there is nothing like ice cold water <laughs> okay so as I was saying um I love ordering used books off of thrift books so I had bought the sexual key to the tarot. <laughs> I was just looking for like vintage tarot books. Um, I feel like you guys can't see like my face, my top of my head. I had the camera so perfect and now I like fucked it up because I moved it. That makes me so mad. <laughs> that makes me so mad. Okay, there we go. There we go. Um, <clears throat> so, <laughs> so thrift books. Um, I was looking for vintage tarot books. Sometimes I just get in that like that weird mood where I'm like, I want a vintage astrology book. So I'll just like search vintage whatever. And then I found this one. So this one was published. When were you published? 1971, copyright. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's older than me. So I don't know, I was intrigued by like tarot and sex. <sighs> if I could ever not be out of breath. Okay. So let's just pick a card. Let's like pick the Ace of Wands, which is usually my card anyway for tarot of like sex. Ace of Wands to me is like, like sexual stimulation or it's like being like horny or it's, I hate that word, but you know what I mean, <laughs> to be turned on. Um, or it's like instant attraction with someone like ace of wands is it um, So let's see Virility fertility. Oh, so it doesn't really talk about it. It just like gives you a bunch of Synonyms that sucks. Okay, let's see what ace of wands says virility fertility sexual creativity many orgasms playful Sexual inventions, enterprising sexuality, the starting point of sexual escapades, which is true. I do see the because it ace is the beginning, right? Wands is fire energy, so it's passion. So it is like that first, like you see someone and you're sexually attracted to them or you're aroused. Um, birth of new coital partner, <laughs> coital. That's <laughs> Here is how mature I am. That word, I don't know, I just think that word is so ridiculous. Like, beginning of exciting sexual alliances, childlike sensuality, original sexual diversions to please the senses. And then it also gives you the reversed meaning. So, the reversed meaning, which would mean the Ace of Wands in reverse, like upside down. <laughs> masturbation, ven venereal disease, castration perhaps, circumcision, void wombs, empty vaginas, what the hell? Weak phalli, impotence, fragility, sexual stupor, insensitiveness. I could see that though, like for like circumcision or like, I would see the, to me the ace of wands is like you're erect and then the ace of wands in reverse is like, uh, like you can't get it. You can't get up. You know what I mean? That's what that would say to me. But maybe, I don't know what a weak, what is an empty vagina? Like, what's an empty vagina? What's an empty vagina, you guys? I don't understand. <laughs> oh my God, that's too funny. Okay, let's see what the three of swords is. This is such an immature video diary, but I'm hoping that the guy, you guys that are subscribed to me are like, you have sense of humors, okay? Because <laughs> if you don't have a sense of humor, then you're not gonna like this video, and I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, Three of Swords. The meaning of the design is implicit. Heartbreak, rupture in sexual companionship, for sure. I would, I would take the Ace of uh, the, I would take the Three of Swords as like, to me, it's, it's like um, infidelity. Like I would take it at, take it as literally like. Like my husband, if my husband went and had sex with someone else, you know, like he cheated on me. That's how I would take the three of swords. Um, rup so rupture and sexual companionship. Phallicism denied. Copulation refused. Orgasmic delay. That's a good way to look at it. 
absence of willing genitals, upheaval in the sexual life, removal of a cherished source of passion and orgasm. <laughs> so then what would the three of swords in reverse mean? Sexual incompatibility, copulative errors, loss of potency or lack of erection, sexual disorder, confusion of sexual interest. I like that one, confusion of sexual interest. So you're kind of like torn, you're heartbroken about it, like you're confused. Strife in the erotic bed. Oh my God, I love some of these like empty vagina, erotic bed. Like, I, <laughs> I like that. I'm telling you guys, like this is a whole other side of me that you probably haven't seen um, because I, I'm i very, okay, that's the radio. <laughs> I was just like, why is there an alarm going off? But it's the radio, I keep forgetting. I turned the radio on for the cats. Um, when they're alone, home alone all day and I turn it on early for today for some reason But it's starting to freak me out because I forget that it's on and then I hear something and I'm like, oh, who's that? Anyways, um, I had too much coffee today. Um, so anyways You're seeing a whole different side of me So my coworkers know this about me like a lot of people if you get to know me on a personal level like as We're friends in person. You will quickly discover that my moon and cancer um, isn't just sensitivities and I'm not just a crybaby. I also have a very freaky, freaky, freaky side to me. Um, <laughs> I think that a lot of cancer people, um, are the same way. We're freaky, freaky. Um, <laughs> we're like that little crabby in the shell, right? And we're like shy sometimes, or we're just like real meek, or we're really like sensitive and emotional, but we're also freaky freakies. So <laughs> I feel like I am one of those and a lot of people will quickly discover that about me when you work with me or when you like were friends in person. I am very open about my sexuality. I'm very open about sex. I love talking about it. I love giving advice on sex. I just love sex. Um, <laughs> and so I feel like when that part of me comes out, and some people didn't know that about me, they're just like, what? But then they quickly like, you know, they get comfortable and then we're just like talking about it all the time. So <laughs> very inappropriate, but we are inappropriate or I can be very inappropriate. So that's just me. Um, but I just, I, <laughs> I wanted to kind of share that. So this book is really cool. I really like it. Um, I eventually want to come out with like a sex course for tarot. Um, but I feel like I have to dive into it just a little bit deeper <laughs> because um, like I was talking about with my um, with my tarot class, like I do read sex in tarot readings. I have a sex reading on my website. So I love giving sex advice. I love reading tarot for sex related questions, but I do not always get the sex questions because people will get embarrassed or they're afraid or they don't know how to word it or maybe they don't know that you can read sex with tarot, like, but you totally can. <laughs> so I do have a sex reading in my shop. That's just like a little guilty pleasure of mine. I love to divulge in it and I, so I do have it there if you wanna book it. And as always, you guys, like I do post not all of my readings public, but I do post my readings public on my YouTube channel, which I might start changing. I might not put the client readings public so much um, because I do have another idea popping up, but I'm, I'm gonna make a separate video about that. Um, but <laughs> um, I do post my readings public for the sake of one, advertising and people like to, to watch how I read cards. And then also just because I like, I just think I like to watch videos of other readers posting their videos of them doing readings. So I do it too, but I will always honor, what is that? I will always honor a client saying, please keep my video private, always. So if you want your video private, I will make it private. I do not I do not mention names, screen names, obviously not. I don't mention who you are. I don't say specifics in the readings. I'm always very, I honor your confidentiality and I honor your anonymity. I can't believe I said that word without fucking it up. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but if you want your reading private, I will 100% make it private. So it'll, it'll be like an unlisted video. So it's only viewable by you and then me, obviously, because I'm the one who uploaded it. Um, so if you want to order a sex reading, but you're afraid to do so, you could totally do it. And then I will keep the video private. You could, all you gotta do is just tell me. So send me an email or whatever. Um, but they're there. 
Now, obviously this year, I mean this, the next two months I'm doing my spooky readings, but if you want a sex reading, you can totally send me an email and, or order it. It's, the, it's still there on my website. You can still order the regular ones, but I'll probably be using like spooky tarot cards. <laughs> but it's there if you want to book it. So I think it's $40, but I don't quite remember how much I, I put it down, but I think I want to say it's like 40 bucks. So if you want a sex reading, you can get one. Um, but yeah, I just, I love it. So I thought I would just kind of like dive in. Let's do one more. Cause this is kind of funny. <laughs> Let's do the devil. So in my tarot class, when I was talking about the major arcanas, the devil was one of them that I was like, to me, the devil card is kinky kinky. <laughs> the devil card is like, lush sexual attraction with one someone else but it's like something you try something different that you would never try before right so let's see how accurate that is with the book so for the devil ooh, <laughs> so it gives you like a little paragraph right here let's read that standing on a black altar is a horned goat with the wings of a bat the right hand is open and in the left hand there's a great flaming torch Inverted. <laughs> a reverse pentagram is on the, the beast's forehead. There are two figures, one male, one female, chained to the altar. The figures are tailed, the female with fruit, the male with fire. Oh, it just describes the card. I thought it was gonna get like sexy. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, so it, okay, I guess it goes in more in depth then with the major arcana. Ooh. Okay, well, I don't want to read all that, but let's see if there's like. Okay, so it says the horned goat or devil represents the baser side of human nature. He symbolizes raw sexual craving, lust, inordinate desires, sexual perversion, evil thoughts. Okay, no. <laughs> or I guess negative thoughts, but evil, come on, come on, people. Desires and deeds, the open right hand deceivingly suggests that sex is its own justification and needs no other, and there is naught but sex as a basis for living. I thought it was going to do keywords. <sighs> well, I guess I'd have to like dive in deeper with the majors because it goes into details. Um, <laughs> so that was a wah wah. Let's do. Let's do the King of Cups. I just saw King of Cups. Okay. A man, fair of complexion, endowed with an aesthetic phallus. <laughs> he is a man of responsibility and does not shirk his sexual duties. A man disposed to oblique and... Uh, to, uh, <laughs> A man disposed to oblige, oblige, oblige the queer and sexual needs. Ooh. His love objects are usually church going females. <laughs> Why? <laughs> also, a businessman or a man skilled in law. I wouldn't say law for the cups. Also, creative sexuality. I like that. Creative sexuality. I would also say like a very sensual sexual partner. And I would say not just a man. The king can be a woman too. Um, but I would say like to me, the king of cups would be like a poet, a musician, an artist. Sexually, like who's like sexually, maybe sexually frustrated if it's in the reversed. But in the upright, I would be like, they like to express their heart and soul through sex. So they're very sensual and they take their time. That's how I would do it. But <laughs> that is hilarious. But the, um, a man, no, not that one. His love objects are usually church going females. That's ridiculous. That's just hilarious. So the King of Cups in reversed, a double dealing man. Does that mean like he cheats, a player, a liar, a seducer, a businessman who uses his power and authority to exhort, a cuckold, false love to gain orgasm. Oh, false love to gain orgasm. I, don't, I would also see the king of cups as like someone who would fake their orgasm. We've all done it. Don't lie. You know, you've done it too. Um, dishonesty in sexual relations, erotic exaction, two-facedness, yeah, two-facedness to totally for a king of cups in reverse, scandal, vice, loss of virginity or reputation, impotence. Nice. <laughs> There's some pro 
problematic stuff with the book, but it's dated. It's in the 70s, but also I think it's like, it's dated, like the 70s, you know? You do, I don't see kings as just men, and men are not just focused on women. Like, men want men, and women want women. Like, it's that's how it is these days. So it is dated, but keep in mind this was copyright 1971. But that is hilarious. So I'm kind of bummed, though, that the major arcana, they don't do, like... They don't do the keywords like I just read. It kind of goes into this big long spiel of all of like the the pieces of the card. You know, it goes into detail, but I guess I'll just have to highlight that stuff. But like I said, this was cheap. It was like a $3 book <laughs> on thrift books. And now I know a lot of you freaky freakies are going to be going on thrift books right now to go see if you can find a copy. So it's called The Sexual Key to the Tarot. Um, I'm sure that there's other sex tarot books, but this is one I bought. Um, and so, yeah. So I think that that made for a spicy video diary for today. Hopefully my video doesn't get blocked. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, thank you guys for watching. And um, if you have questions, leave them below. I do read your comments. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll go into video. What, what day is this? Is this day 12? It might be day 12. I have to check. But anyways... Um, I'm going to go into the tour of my decks probably this weekend um, when I have a little bit more time to kind of focus on it because I do kind of want to rearrange. Um, but so that video is coming. I didn't forget about it. And anyways, have a good day, you guys. I will talk to you later. Bye, loves.